you guys. Good morning. Here we go. <clears throat> Time to finish the game. Time for cutscene. <clears throat> I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid no. to die, Daryl? <clears throat> or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. <clears throat> Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. Oh boy. <laughs> people are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire <laughs> from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass. And the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. Here we go. Dialogue challenge. <clears throat> I'm ending this. Now. Oh, I got ghost. Can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Pancea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Daryl. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. So I can't use my Casey on this guy. You think humanity needs to be punished? Is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. Even as I listen to your words, I realize a cruel truth. No one else has the vision to see what I've seen, the will to do what I have done. You're all too weak, judging but never acting. None of you have the moral courage to see this through to its conclusion. Well, so be it. Okay, I think we just keep doing extrapolate on this guy. <clears throat> Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. None of it matters, because this is what will happen now. After today, whatever you say will be dismissed as the ravings of a mass murderer. You were one of the greatest minds of our time, and tomorrow you'll be nothing but a killer. But... but they can't think that. They'll be missing the point. It was my genius that created the technology. My vision that seduced Sarif and Zhao and all the others who now feed off of it. They seek to stand on the shoulders of my research without comprehending the danger that people like you pose to mankind. I am the only one with the perspective, the insight, to know what is needed. Ah. So now I can do the hormones. People like me? 
but I don't want no, I don't know what personality you. type he is. You changed the world when you invented this technology, but your creation is leaving you behind. And as long as it's allowed to continue, mankind will use it to evolve without you. Until the father of tomorrow is known as yesterday's man. But they cannot leave me behind. Don't you see? Your body accepts augmentations easily. So easily, it's like a disease eating you up inside, making you crave more. While mine, mine rejects them completely. Yet the desire is still oh. there every day. No, Mr. Jensen, I do not envy you. I, I didn't know his, pulse, I his the length system rejected him. What God never wanted us to have. No such thing as God. Grow up. We must see this through to the end. I think we just keep doing extrapolate. <coughs> I don't know what personality type he is. I don't see any. Look at what your obsession is doing to the world. When all of this is over, nothing will be left but anarchy and fear, smoldering in the ashes of burning cities. How can anything be rebuilt from that? No, that's not. That's not what I wanted. There must be something left, some hope of renewal. Because without hope. Nothing. I think we won. I, I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining and lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. The technology I created will not be the future any one of us desires. Please, help the world understand that. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted that silver tongue rating. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything in here <clears throat> of any value. Yeah, I think the bodies are all empty. Okay, we got a praxis point. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and buy it so it's sitting there. Just another option to use. But now we gotta fight our way out of here. Lock counts disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Ah, oh, my HUD's messed up again. I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I, I'll just... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. Okay, so... <clears throat> uh, gas grenades. Yeah, this way. Oh, I can't see my radar. <sighs> great. Just great. show you how effective they are.
a way around them. can't see my batteries. Oh. have to do this. See if I can alt tab and come back in. <coughs> it didn't work last time. And it didn't work this time. Alright. Hold on one second. I don't think this will run the video. Come on. For some reason my game takes a long time to shut down. but it restarts very quickly. <laughs> this is the benefits of a M.2 NVMe SSD drive. And we're back. Okay, this is why I... Um, see that? That robot will do a lot of work for us. And that is why I did it. Let's see here. It won't kill them all for you, but it'll take out a bunch of them. I need a little bit. Probably freed up a, uh, a, a spot in our pack. <coughs> um, um, <laughs> I think this just goes to the end. Past, yeah, that doesn't take me where I want to go. last time. Huh. I kind of screwed that up. Oh well.
Oh, broken glass. <laughs> God. Okay, okay. It's early. Sorry. <clears throat> Is this the limb clinic? No. Okay. Oh, there's a bad guy in here. I got 300 rounds of 10. I'm going to use them. <laughs> stock worms but oh plasma well there's plenty of plasma ammo in this place hmm. okay got it yeah there's a limb clinic in here This is it. But you can't get in unless you can pick up heavy objects, so be advised. Well, things get thankfully. No. Just show me what you got. Okay. There we go. are always good and we're out. remain here where it's safe if you need help or get word of help please okay okay and there is a steam achievement for reading all the books so okay let's check our let's go ahead and finish up our sprint <coughs> so now you'll see uh, the sprint so the cloak is F1 Is what? Uh, let's see. Where is it? Okay, activate cloak is F1. Silent movement is. <coughs> oh, okay. Okay. So we'll, we'll make that F2. I don't see anything else set to F2. Do you? <coughs> oh, play commentary. Oh. That could be different. Okay. So we'll set this to F2. So silent movement is F2. Smart vision is F3. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just resume. <coughs> so, yeah, F2. And you see it starts to glow. <coughs> as long as you don't run the battery down, it'll it'll recharge back. This is William Taggart. If anyone out there is listening, I'm begging you, help. We barricaded ourselves inside the core server room. Many of us are wounded. Please, save us. Okay, there are a lot of zombies in here, so you got to be careful. <coughs> Let me see if I can not screw it up. Hmm. 
So I try to put a grenade right there. Ah, oh, shit. Really, game? kind of actually pays to aggro him through the gas. Well, it would have. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I do not understand why they went aggro. <coughs> I, I don't get it. <coughs> of course not. Yeah. Let's get in here. See what's what. <coughs> okay. Thanks to our fortify. We have plenty of time. So a gas grenade, that'll come in handy. I don't think these guys have any loot on them. Oh shit! Is he gonna move? He's just going to stand there. Okay, then we got a big group down there that we need to deal with. I want to get a gas grenade right in the middle of them if I can. Hmm. So let's try to find our way to Hugh Darrow. Yep. And we're down to one gas grenade. You know what that means. Typhoon time. Out 
that will do you. This is why I brought all those candy bars. Okay. Uh, it's holster. And... Let me see. Hold on one second. Mr. Taggart. No, that's not the one. Okay, he just he just monologues. <coughs> Mr. Jensen, <coughs> how ironic that you should monsters, Taggart. You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. <clears throat> I finally admit it. You are part of this after all. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but despite what you think of us, we never wanted Aug. You've raised society above humanity. So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength, and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinct. I'm not looking for gore. Just remember that without <clears throat> control. There's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a... I know there's a difference between... The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power, so... Amazing how well that worked. Say what you want. <laughs> but I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is... Versa life. And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financier... Let me think about it. Yeah, so that's one of the possible endings. <clears throat> and that's just some some backstory and stuff. Don't think there's anything over here. Oh, laser rifle battery. That's pretty valuable. I'm gonna try the laser rifle out here in a few. I never did hack those terminals. I thought the terminal was in here somewhere. Yeah. By the way, I think you can hack it from up here. Can you? Nope. Oh my god. We're gonna get 
get detected on fives. Access granted. Yeah, and so now you can do that. That really helps. These guys might have. I'm just checking for. Yeah, so if you got a combat rifle, this could really help. I just don't like the combat rifle. Um. It's got a. Insta track it, uh, it's got a target tracking mod that I just I don't find terribly useful. I don't know why. Um, you know, to me, this robot is designed to stop us, not help us. It's in a really bad location. Let's top off our batteries. Okay, so we. Oh, you can't sneak under. Yay! Hey. Hello? Is anyone there? Huh? Is there? No. Learn to aim. <clears throat> hmm. The fuck? This is the way to David Seraph. I'm not sure. I may have to backtrack. That's not a good sign. <laughs> that tells you. Okay, no, this isn't. That's the way to the end. Oh man, look at that sprint. That is nice. I think I have to take the elevator to David. Where's the elevator? There's the elevator. No, oh, let's save. <coughs> and so this will be another uh, ending. There's a big old gaggle of bad guys. Guess what time it is. Oh. Oh, it's gonna... Wow. 
why? Because it's fun. <laughs> oh, that was convenient. Somehow they blew themselves up. Who's alarmed? Okay. Do 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 do. Here are mine. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, I found it. So frame the humanity world. front. <coughs> Tell them the human you can lie. Nah, it'll give us time, son. Time. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. Some people will right. Evolution. Please, son. How, you have how to Nietzsche stay with of him. On this. I'll think about it. The Ubermensch. <laughs> Ooh, those are handy. Uh, what else we got? I don't think there's anything particularly... Uh... Yeah, so... I'll show you where this event comes out. So yeah, I forgot to turn around and go get it. <coughs> okay. wondering if I missed something. I don't think I did. I mean, my weapons are all fully upgraded. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and eat a candy bar. Now our turret hacking ability will come in handy. Man, we got a lot of laser ammo. 
You know what? <coughs> let's not hack the turret. Let's let's see what the laser can do. We got it. We got plenty of ammo. Let's evaluate it. Huh? Why isn't that open? <laughs> well, aren't we bugged? like that. <coughs> I think it works pretty well. <laughs> <coughs> now if you're sneaky type, you can sneak past most of them. Yeah, that worked pretty well. That didn't burn any ammo. Interesting. <coughs> okay, let's save. Um, I Can't look around. There we go. We're getting, we're getting close. I still fail to see how building a big tunnel down to the ocean floor would solve anthropogenic climate change, but whatever. I'm liking this sprint. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> uh, is this the end? Um, boy, they give a lot of love to the old plasma rifle this late in the game. I have. Yeah, I saw a meme on Facebook. It was about. Um, uh, Elder Scrolls, and it's like um, uh, you're saving up your most valuable equipment for whenever you need it, and then finishing the game with your pack full. <laughs> okay, this is the end, I do believe. I think this is it. Yep. What the hell? Pressure 
So those are the women from Missing Link. <clears throat> Zhao, what are you doing? Connecting to Panchea's Haran project, Mr. Jensen. The most advanced quantum computer slave to the human brain, and the closest to perfection we'll ever achieve. I'm going to use it to hack Daryl's signal and rework the message to our benefit. Our benefit? You mean the Illuminati's? So basically, she's the final boss. Someone has to override the signal and be the world's savior. And let's be honest, neither of us would trust anyone else to fill that role. Computer, begin EEG sync. So much pain. Sinking beta waves at 40 cycles per second. Get them out of there. I have to reach the control chamber. No! I'm the new control! I'm the control! Just the signal security alert. Through the primary control panel. Oh shit. <laughs> At least he runs to cover. <laughs> okay, so. Alpha pod security in place. To access alpha pod, purge tertiary pods. Okay, so, like they said, to access alpha pods, you have to purge tertiary to pods. The signal. Once I do, the council will welcome me. I'll we'll show you. So you can see how effective the laser rifle is. You get perfect accuracy. Okay. So what you have to do is kill Zai. And normally what you have to do is run in there and hit those switches, open the drones, and kill the drones. But because we have the laser rifle, watch. Fix it? There you go. Game's over. <laughs> See, there's a shield protecting Zhao. Normal weapons can't penetrate it, but the laser rifle can. Then you just pick the ending you want. <clears throat> and you can't you can't hack the terminals. Um, and you can't hack the robots, which I think is lame. But at a certain point, zombies come out if you don't if you prolong the battle. But this is the end. Hello, Adam. Welcome to the edge. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza? What are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place, including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Janus. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. An inflection point. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know. About the biochip, the Illuminati, everything. 
He believed knowing the truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Daryl's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. <coughs> Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. However, if you desire to <coughs> alter Darrow's message, conceal the creation of the biochip while putting in new content. Content blaming the humanity front, like Sarah suggested. The organization has already admitted to harboring terrorists. It would be easy to convince people they turn to biological warfare in a more desperate attempt to get rid of augmented people. But why? What would that achieve? In time, it could shift the focus of hatred onto people whose prejudices are seen as too extreme, leaving corporations free to experiment oh with human evolution as they desire. Corporations. But if you want me to perform this edit for you, <sighs> You must disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Alternatively, Darrow's message can be adjusted to erase all mention of the power group known as the Illuminati. I can report that lack of proper regulation allowed vast quantities of neuropazine to become contaminated prior to reaching the market. Taggart's preference. You think the world will buy a made-up story about neuropazine poisoning? You might be surprised by what people believe. I can convince them, and having experienced the negative effects of corporate negligence firsthand, a majority of people might force the world to place harsh restrictions on all human enhancement research. To the right. <laughs> Only if you disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Of course, there is another option. Yes, this there is. passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself. Overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. <sighs> Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Except her. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own? Yeah, I'm inclined to go middle. I'm not a big fan of Darrow. I'm also inclined to go blow the place up. Um, I've done all four. I've already got the unlock. Um, I say we send Darrow's message. Because if we go left, she's just going to spin it. And then new conspiracy theories will pop up. It's not going to make a big difference. So. If you do this. The unadulterated truth in Darrow's confession may well convince mankind to cast all science and technology aside to ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? Yeah. So be it then. It doesn't really matter. <coughs> Albert Einstein said. Technological progress is like an axe in the hands of a pathological criminal. <laughs> Took me a while, but I finally see his point. How often have we chased the dream of progress only to see it perverted? More often than not, haven't the machines we built to improve life shattered the lives of millions? And now we want to turn that dream on ourselves to fundamentally improve who we are. Experience has shown me how dangerous that can be. How many times in the call of duty did I almost fall into the trap of taking shortcuts, of using my abilities or the resources at hand? I resisted. Barely at times, because I valued human lives and considerations. Can I truly despise others who fall? Technology offers us strength. Strength enables dominance, and dominance paves the way for abuse. Darrow understood this. He knew that using technology to become something more than we are risks losing our ability to love, aspire, or make moral choices. The 
very things that make us human. It also risks giving some men the power to make others what they choose, regardless of the cost to human dignity. The suffering Darrow inflicted is not the end of the world. It is merely the seed for change. And change never comes without pain. <laughs> I don't fully agree with that, but, you know, kill yourself or give corporations control or side with Bill Taggart. Ugh. I don't, I don't really like any of those. Okay, guys, that's the end. We played Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut on the highest difficulty. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't know where I'm going next. Uh, I might try Mankind Divided again. I never finished it. Or I might go back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey and never finish that. But this is the end. Thanks for watching.